Okay, guys. Missing in action is back. I know it's been a day and a minute since I posted a video. But I got a real sweet, and sweet, sweet video I got for you guys today, man. I got a new unboxing. Let me get this opened up here. You can tell I have my boat parked outside. Normally, I park it indoors in, 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 in the third bay over here. But uh, I just laid down this new uh, epoxy flooring yesterday. It's just those ones that you buy at a Home Depot and, and Lowe's. Uh, but I am allowed to do a little bit of light traffic on it since it's been almost 24 hours. But look at that. Oh, what kind of unboxing do I got there? I got new cabinets. New cabinets for my garage, man. I'm super stoked. Um, they came in way, way faster than what I expected. Uh, when I ordered these from Costco, uh, delivery was expected to take one to three weeks. And they showed up in, let me see, I ordered them Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They ordered up on Tuesday. They showed up on Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, but a real quick turnaround, man. Uh, I guess they overnighted them. But I'm um, super stoked. So, uh, these are the uh, New Age Bold 3.0 series. Okay, so uh, let me get these unboxed. They're going to go uh, on this wall right here, and I'm going to have a few of them over here on this wall up, up above. And um, the cabinets are only going to go approximately out to the end of where it's at right now. Okay, right here. And over here, what I'm going to do is this section is where I'll have my, uh, uh, my compressor, my compression washer, and stuff like that all underneath. But I'm going to build uh, another shelf here and continue... Order, I got to order a couple more cabinets. It depends on how these I get these set up. I'm going to order a couple more cabinets to go on the top all the way across. But, uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. So uh, let me get these unboxed. I'm going to start off with the little one first. And uh, because what the, these big ones, they have another two more cabinets inside of them, inside of the big cabinet, and it saves them on, 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 on packaging and shipping. Uh, so, yeah, but these are uh, super stoked, man. Super stoked. So today is a unboxing and installation i'm getting these babies installed today hopefully so i can get all my stuff back in, back in here and organized uh so uh stay tuned okay hopefully that'll stay put uh, but i just want you, wanted you guys to see how well these things come packed okay can you get this Teams come well packed. Inside of these are two more cabinets. Just open it up. Oh. Two here. Yeah. Another styrofoam block. Huge styrofoam block. Right. Get that out of there. More instructions. Send those separate. Styrofoam. 
another unveiling. Let's get this sucker slid out. Like the one I just put out, those little ones are going on this wall right here. And more styrofoam. And these are, these are the shells. Yep. Let's get these out. They come with more styrofoam. More styrofoam. We have a what appears to be a, I don't that's the rod locker hanger. Yeah, it is. So, we'll put this down. Get these shells out. And they go, they're each individually wrapped. Packaging out of here. So that's how they come packaged, which is pretty. Well, they have handles here on the side. I didn't realize that. Sit down down there temporarily. All right, guys, so in that box comes another uh, one of those along with another smaller cabinet like that one. And that's uh, another one of those uh, wall mounted cabinets. So um, these are gonna be mounted on the wall up off the floor. There's two ways that you can install these. You can install these on the floor. They have legs which allows you to uh, increase the height by two two inches overall but because I have a pretty good drop in my garage from here to where they're installing is actually two inches so I'm kind of skeptical on whether or not I, I'm going to be able to be able to level them off or not so I decided to mount them on the wall that way I know they're going to be level and I also in my garage I have this little uh, foundation footing which is about five, six inches tall, and it's level. Uh, back in the corner, it starts off about uh, five inches, and then it comes down here and ends up to about like six inches over here in the corner. Oh, and these are uh, the bamboo shelves. 
uh, they go on top of the cabinets uh, in between the these two tall ones right here and let me show you a layout real quick guys I had two layouts planned the original layout was going to be like this and this is the way that the cabinets come okay and only I was going to remove one of these uh, uh, drawer cabinets so I could sit uh, uh, put in a stool my stool right here right and I was just gonna mount that cabinet up over here purchase another one put it right here that way I can keep my pressure washer my vacuum cleaner and in the future I'm buying me a welder my pressure washer and whatnot, everything underneath in this corner right here and I was gonna mount the TV on that wall right there but uh, I've decided to go like this instead um, I'm mounting uh, the four smaller cabinets uh, right here on this wall and I'm mounting a TV in the middle of these cabinets because I do spend quite some time in here guys I'm always in here either we're doing stuff on the boat or my truck or you know odds and ends of the jobs that I do and I'm always you know uh, can't miss a game you know can't miss a NASCAR race I can't miss anything man so uh, but yeah that's the plans and I also I had to run some electrical uh, because believe it or not this this was the only plug that I had available to me for the past nine years <laughs> yeah how I did it I don't know but there's another one over there but that one was always tied up with the um, the alarm the cable and the sprinklers so I didn't really get any use out of that one uh, but I had a buddy of mine come in and run some electrical for me and it, 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 it doesn't matter to me if you can see it and it's exposed. I really don't mind. It doesn't bother me one bit. What I wanted was to have access, okay, to more power outlets. So uh, this one here is going to power my TV and whatnot. And then I'll have another one down here, which I'll be able to power all my uh, chargers. And then this one will be able to run my pressure washer compressor and stuff like that. Okay, and uh, I'm also going to install another one over here on this wall right here so I can uh, put in a nice ceiling fan uh, I mean a ceiling fan a nice fan right here a nice big 30 inch fan maybe one of those oscillating fans um, up here in the top I plan to put uh, uh, rod racks so I'll be able to store my rods up and out of the way so when I'm working on my bow and I can exchange rods just pull them out straight from the top and straight to my boat and then this wall right here if you're asking me why I didn't paint it it's because um, my boat doesn't fit okay it, 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 it fits but you can see right there in the corner where it's been hitting that corner right there where it's uh, knocked a hole in the drywall well I, I, I fit it in at an angle right and I push it and the tongue of the the tongue of, you'll see where it's been hitting there too the tongue of the boat ends up right there and the, the, the edge of the boat runs right here and it runs back that way like that so Access is a little tight when I have both cars in here and the boat. So my plan is to uh, blow a section of this wall out so the motor uh, and, and, and the back end of the boat uh, goes back about maybe another two feet. So I'm able to swing it straight and gain access back to this uh, space right here uh, that's in between uh, the two garage uh, doors. So, uh, and then I still got some more painting to do. I have to paint the doors. I have to paint the frames. I got to put in some moldings and whatnot and little ons and ends. Uh, but the ma ma majority of the project right now for today is installing these cabinets. So if you guys, you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Uh, now this comes with all the hardware that you need to, for installation. You don't need anything. All you have to do is make sure you mark your studs to bolt them into the wall and level them off and attach each, each cabinet. Uh, you attach the cabinets together side by side and we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned for uh, this video's, video's already a little long as it is going on 14 minutes, 15 minutes but it takes time to kind of uh, you know kind of explain what it is I'm trying to do in here and uh, uh, it's a work in progress I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to get all these installed in one day I'm gonna try maybe if I stop blabbering I can get it done so if you guys got any questions or comments feel free to leave me below hit the like button subscribe and have a great day tight lines everybody